I'm going to do something unusual today because a friend came back from Northern California with an ice chest, big ice chest, filled with frozen meats. And these weren't your typical hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken breasts and pork chops. They were this venison in there, goat and some lamb, different cuts, ribs, steaks, legs, chops, some great meat. And he had so much stuff, so many meats, frozen meats, that he couldn't store them all at his home. And he asked me if he could borrow part of my freezer. I gave him a shelf of my freezer to store these meats, but they're not going to stay in there very long because I'm going to need some shelf space this winter. So what we decided to do was we're going to take some of these meats and cook them at various parks. And I'm going to do it in conjunction with my cycling videos. So this is the evening. And what I'm going to do this evening is I'm going to mix up a spice blend for seasoning a couple of goat shanks. So there's the meat. This is two, maybe one and a half uh, goat shanks. And you could do this recipe with lamb shanks. You could use turkey drumsticks. You don't have to use goat, um, but that's what we've got. That's what we're going to use. So what I have here is, and I'm going to give you the amount that you would need to do four shanks. If you were doing, say, four um, lamb shanks, but I'm using only half amounts because I don't have the double amount of meat. So two teaspoons ground cinnamon, so that's one teaspoon, and then one teaspoon gra grated nutmeg, in my case, a half, one teaspoon ground cardamom, I actually bought whole cardamom and ground it myself, one teaspoon of black pepper, and then finally one teaspoon of turmeric, and again these are halves. And Get my whisk down. Get that blended up. All right. That's my spice blend. I put that seasoning in a shaker. See if I can't distribute this kind of evenly. And I'm doing this on a piece of parchment paper. Rubbing that in. I don't want to get the handle of my shaker all dirty. And just keep doing this until you run out of spice blend. Okay, that's it. Pick up some of the extra that's on the counter there on that piece of paper. That is some heavily seasoned meat. All right, I need to wash my hands and then I can wrap this up. I'm going to put these on a piece of plastic wrap. Like so. Get these wrapped up. And then I have a Ziploc bag here. Put them in the Ziploc bag and then put that in the refrigerator overnight to let that flavor for tomorrow. So there is our meat browning in the pot. You could do this over the stove. We're doing this on a fire. Then remove the meat, add the onions, cook 8 to 10 minutes until they're tender and translucent. Return the meat to the pot. And then add chicken stock. Just enough to cover 2 to 4 cups maybe. Whatever it takes to almost cover the meat. The meat doesn't have to be covered completely. 
but most of the way. I also added to the pot the juice of one lime plus the zest plus half the zest of an orange. Then bring it to a boil, to a simmer, put the lid on and cook for two hours turning the meat over every 30 minutes. And then at the end of the finishing time we added potatoes and carrots and took the lid off to concentrate that juice. And there it is our carrots, potatoes, and goat with reduced liquid. And here we are, sitting down, eating our dinner. And I've got to tell you, I was very surprised. The goat was delicious. It was very mild, very tender, falling off the bone because we braised it for two, two and a half hours. The vegetables were cooked perfectly. This was a very, very delicious meal. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You can do this in your own kitchen, but we chose to do it over an oak fire in a park.